from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Me is aka the instant burner, man. And I was requested, man, to give y'all some defensive tips, man. Some make videos on some defense and stuff like that, bro. So I'm gonna give you guys what y'all been asking for, but I'm gonna split it up. I'm gonna split it up because I do not want this video to be to be like 20 minutes long, bro. I'm not trying to make no 20 minute long videos for today. We're gonna go through the very first thing it, it, that you need when it comes to defense, and that's your defense of settings. We're gonna be talking about that today. But man, before we even get into this video, man, I need y'all to do one very, very important thing, man. I need y'all to help out a starving YouTuber. This could be the most important and the hardest thing you've done today. And that is, I need y'all to smash that like button, man. If you support the burner game, don't forget to smash that like button. Or if you think Shot I'm about to show y'all is bad, don't forget to smash that like button. I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to decide. All right, appreciate everybody that show love, but uh, let's go ahead and get into this, man. Let's go ahead and get into these settings, bro. Let me go to it. I'm gonna go to the controller settings. The very first thing, man, <clears throat> is your vibration. This is one of those things. It's a, it's a personal preference. It's one of personal preference. I've heard, I've seen on YouTube that that you have it on vibration gives you a little bit of a of a delay. I don't know for sure. I don't know if that's if that's real. If it's not real, but I play with mine off. The reason I play with mine off because man, 2K, bro, they have way too many animations. I mean, they have way too many vibration animations in this game, bro. If you shoot the ball, it's it's a vibration. I know they, I know they do it to try to help you get your release timing. And when you do a layup, when you run into a pick, it's a vibration. Everything's a vibration. Like I said, they try. They, I think they do it to, to help you in this game. But I, I don't need that help. So I actually turn this off just because it, it annoys. To be honest, it just it just annoys me. <laughs> it annoys me. So I, I do turn this off. And plus, man, I've figured out, man, with me when I have this on. I don't hit as many shots, even though this is a defensive video. I don't hit, hit as many shots when I have this on. That's why I just turn this off. Um, <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna only gonna be doing defense, so I'm not gonna talk about the pro state orientation and all that. Uh, the, the next thing is the off ball freelance mode. With this right here, what this actually means, bro, is when like the dude you're guarding, when the dude you're guarding doesn't have the ball. This is pretty much how you wanna how you wanna move with your left stick. The easiest way to do this, bro, is to just keep this on camera relative, bro. It, it, it's easier for me to just keep it on camera relative so I don't have to, so, cause, cause absolute, what absolute pretty much means is up is up, down is down, left is left, anywhere on the court. So you, so your, um, so your controls are the same anywhere on the court. When, when it comes to this, it just makes it harder. So off ball freelance mode, this is camera relative for me, man. Pop player icons, all that. Okay, pray stick, yeah. I can pass and receiver controls. You don't need all this. Um, yeah, pro stick defense. This is one of those things. It's it's a personal preference. I don't I don't really use pro stick defense because pro stick defense is pretty much when you're guarding somebody. If you wanna if you wanna put your hand up while you're guarding and stuff like that. I don't use it because it slows you down when you come to sliding and stuff like that. But it this is also one of those things. It's it's, it's easier with this just to keep count. This on absolute. This is one of the things that's easier to have absolute because you wanna have when you when you're pressing somebody, and you wanna put your hand up. You wanna you wanna have press up. To be up and down to be down and stuff like that but like i said i don't really use it so it's not really one of those things that even matters that much the next thing is your shot reaction with intense d i keep this on own what this pretty much means is pretty much um if you're close enough with intense d in to um to contest a shot you will contest that shot this is very important to me to me this is one of the things that's very important because man especially with me being a guard you don't want to be jumping on the outsides ever unless you just cannot close out the good players in this game they're gonna wait for you to jump take a couple dribbles get an open shot so you don't want to put your the defense behind you in a bind by jumping so this this pretty much closes out for you this is why this is on and also man if you're a center this is one of those things bro i would actually have i would actually have this off if i was playing some, somebody playing twos because if you're zigzagging, if, if a dude is zigzagging, you know what I'm saying, you need to go for that that rebound. If you're a center, you don't want to be contesting when you should be going for that rebound. So if you're if you're somebody that plays twos, I would actually have this off. But if you're a threes player, if you're a threes player, I would actually have this on. But if you're like I said, if you're a center, even even if you're a center on the threes, bro, this is one of the things I would I would play with. I would pretty much have this off, man. I would have this off if I was y'all. <clears throat> 
and unless unless you're one of those sinners, bro, and you play with a bunch of people that, that y'all like to um that y'all like to hedge. If you're someone one of those sinners that likes to hedge, you want to have this on just because, bro, because it's a lot of zigzaggers in this game, a lot of zigzaggers. And when they zigzag, um, <clears throat> if you're playing, if you want to hedge it so you don't come up too much, so your um so your guard can come back over the screen left and right. If you're close, if you're close enough to the dude, if you're close enough to the dude, just in case the sharpshooter shoots, you can still put your hand up to contest it, so it's not a good shot. So that this pretty much depends on the way that you play defense. The next thing, man, is who the guard. Who the guard is very, very improved, very improved this year, guys, very improved. Because last year, if you had this on right here. When you tried to switch, you would still get that in invisible, what is it, like an invisible force field where you still be stuck to that player. They have taken that out of the game, so you can pretty much you can pretty much switch smoothly having this on. You know what I'm saying? I just I keep it on because it just makes it it makes things easier. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's not an invisible force field this year. So I keep this on. This right here, man, this is one of those things that's very, very important. It's no good and no bad way when it comes to this right here. This solely depends, solely depends on how you play left, right, cheese. Like I said earlier with the left, right, cheese, with the sharpshooters going left and right between screens. This, this is what this does right here. <clears throat> if you're one of those type of people, if you're one of those type of people that likes to play left, right, where like you play one side and your center plays the other side and you don't want to try to fight the screen, what you want to do, you want to keep this as low as possible. The reason is the higher that you have this up, talking to guards right now, when we're talking to guards, for example, we talk about centers. But if you're a guard, what you want to do, you want to have this as low as possible, man. No more than 20. I, I have tried this. I've studied it. So no more than 20 if you're one of those people that likes to play left, right. Because when you have this higher, you will automatically fight the screen. Even when you don't want to. Un unless unless you let go of everything. You have to let go of everything. You're moving. Your, your left trigger. You got to let go of all that. If you wanna, if you wanna have this higher, you know what I'm saying, because it will, it will automatically help you fight the screen left and right, left and right, left and right. Me personally, me personally, it makes the game easier. What I've studied and what I've learned, bro, I put mine on 60. The reason some of y'all might be saying, bro, that's that's kind of high. Why, why you got it on 60? The reason I got this on 60, bro. This intense D, bro, is, is overpowered this year, bro. I don't really have to play that much defense when I have this around 60. If you go anywhere higher than 60, your dude is sluggish. I'm talking about guards. This is not for centers. I'm going to talk about centers in a second, y'all. But as a guard, bro, when you have this on 60, bro, it makes life a lot easier, bro. Once you have that, because it helps you slide, bro. It, like, the first move that, that your defender does, it, it puts you in position to, to stop that first move. And... <clears throat> And, and it helps you stick it lets you stick when you're playing all ball d way way easier way easier in my opinion if you know what you're doing and also man when it comes to left right cheese i like to try to swing back in. if i if i got a good center that can hedge i like to swing back and forth back and forth between it and stop that left right so we don't have to switch and i'm, and I'm switched on the center so it helps you with this intense d being up but if you're a center guys if you're a center but like i said this is not i mean this is how y'all play but if you're a center guys this should not this should be down down no more than no more than about 10 this should be down the reason is you don't want to be switching back you don't want to be switching between the screen back and forth because you're a center you're there just to show or you're there to put your hand up or you're there to switch you did, so you do not want to have this high if you are a center plus you will be way too sluggish having this at a high number if you are a center then the next thing man is your box out stream if you are a guard bro I would suggest, bro, just putting this on a hundred. The reason is, bro, it, it makes life so much easier when you're boxing out, bro, because it already turns your dude around. Because sometimes when it comes to 2K, they will switch my settings. I can tell when they switch my settings just by my box out assist strength. You know, I can tell that they switch my settings because it because it flips your player around easy and he cannot break those box outs. If you are a guard, as a center, I do not know because I do not have a center. I don't know what y'all need to put this on in the comments. Let me know what I what what y'all put this on if you are a center, your box out strength. But I think that's it. And that's it for today, guys. That's it. If this video helped y'all in any way, don't forget to hit that like. If you love this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And don't forget to be a part of the notification game. And y'all already know who this is. It is your boy. Me, so.